I was gonna make like a little aesthetic morning scene thing. That's not me. You think I sleep in the middle of my bed? No, I sleep on this side every night over here. But you know what is real? This is like actually how I look when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> I know, kind of quirky. I'm gonna be honest, it's like almost 2 p.m. right now and I haven't done anything with my day. I just moved out of my dorm. No, I'm not back home. That's my new frib for the summer. I'm very excited. I'm living at my friend's house. But school is like not like over over because although my classes are done, professors just really get a laugh out of assigning final projects. So all I have left is a research project, just a simple little 1500 word essay. So why don't you just get ready with me and we can talk about school and why we feel sad in school and like what the fuck are we going to do with our life? Because if you're like me, you don't know. <laughs> I feel like I definitely made the right decision by moving away from home. And if you are thinking about moving away from home for university, please do it. Like if you have the financial means to do it, do it. I was so scared. I wasn't gonna make any friends. The first week I literally had my one best friend, but after that I just started making more and more friends and your friends that you meet will introduce you to other friends. Other than that, there was always something to do and it got really stressful and like, I know you're like, there are bigger problems in the world and I know that, okay, I know. Initially I wanted to be a doctor, but then I realized I like kind of hated science after taking grade 12 chemistry and I was like, mm, I'm gonna go into business. And now when people ask me what I want to do, like I don't even know and I feel like so many people put pressure on you to know what you want to do, what job you want to get. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing next week, let alone tomorrow. I'm living it day by day. It's okay. We're gonna get through it and we'll figure our lives out and we'll be so baller. It's so nice though having moved out of a dorm because when you live in a dorm, you know that like you need shower shoes. That shit is dirty. Yeah, there are cleaners, but like even the poor cleaners are going through through it. I literally caught the lady who like cleaned our floors. I found her multiple times like literally crying on the phone because she's like, I can't do this. Like that's how bad it is. So the fact that I now have like my own bathroom but poor Tracy literally left like halfway through the year because I think she literally just like had enough. But even though the dorm situation is a little like iffy sometimes, my first year was just so good because it's so nice having all of your friends literally like right next to you. Like at night, I would like go upstairs to my friend Nico's room and we'd literally have like snack time with like carrots and hummus. And I'm really gonna miss that now that I like moved out. Cause like, even though it's kind of like ugly and like small and like I lived in the closet, it's really nice to have that sense of freedom that I've never had before. Cause like I literally lived in my parents' house all my life. And like having that sense of freedom when you move out, especially in university is like such a great experience experience. The independence that comes along with it is so nice, but you also start to feel so old. Like it's just hitting that I'm like actually an adult now. And like I have to book my own doctor's appointments and book my own like dentist appointments. I had to book my own dermatologist appointment. It took me months and hopefully I'm gonna get it Accutane because my skin is honestly, it's so much better now. It used to be really bad and it does get bad a lot of the time, but it gets better in summer. And I'm kind of debating just getting a sunburn because when I get a sunburn, it like goes away, but then I might have cancer when I'm older. So like, you gotta pick and choose. I always wanted to grow up and I always wanted to like be older, but now that I'm actually here, I almost wanna go back. And it's kind of a scary feeling because now I feel like my whole life, I've had other people to rely on and although I still have my family and my mom and parents and stuff, at the end of the day, it's my life and I can do whatever I want. It's on me to make my own decisions. But as you get older, you also get scared that you're gonna be alone more. My friends that I was friends with in like middle school, high school, I barely talk to any of them. Like we're all on good terms, but like you just drift from people. It's also sad because you start to see people like changing. Like a lot of my best friends are so different now. You know, they're living their life and like having a great time, but like I wouldn't necessarily be friends with those people anymore we drifted apart and like sometimes I miss that and I want to go back to that because there's such fond memories it's really excited to start being able to like actually date people I feel like a lot of people expect to meet their forever person in university which for a lot of people that is the case but you shouldn't expect like, a long-term relationship out of every date like, if that's what you want and that's what you're looking for then that's what you should date for but don't go into like a first date expecting to like cuff them up. And I did that in the beginning and it was really hard when I felt like I really liked a person. There's a specific person in mind and they just did not like me the same way I liked them and that really fucking hurt. This person that I'm like talking about, I was really starting to like this person and I remember I was going to the library one time and then I saw them in the library cafe with someone else, like clearly like another guy and I was like, hmm, that's weird. And then my friend came up and she was like, oh my God, I know the guy that he's sitting with and he's like gay. And I was like, okay, so like, 
like it's a date. I was like so hurt and looking back on it, it's like kind of funny. I went into those hangouts basically expecting a relationship and then when I didn't get it, I was crushed. You also need to communicate your expectations like pretty early on because otherwise it just gets really like a little messy because then no one knows what the other person is wanting. Specifically in university, a lot of people go home for the summer and so like if you're getting into a long-term relationship with someone, you may not see them for five months. It's currently 3.04 p.m. So we're gonna finally go to school and do some work. I'll give you a little taste of like what it's like to be a college student. Oh my God, thumbnail. <laughs> that was so stupid. It's currently, oh my god, almost 11 p.m. I finished studying. My project is like almost done. I got a text from this guy I'm seeing right now, Beach Boy, and he was like, hey, like, I'm going to the beach. And I was like, ah, right now at 10 p.m. And he was like, yeah. And he was like, what are you up to? And I was like, oh, I just finished my work, whatever. He was like, nice. Like, hmm, like, is he trying to like, invite me, whatever. So I was like, oh, what beach are you going to? And he was like, oh, this beach, which is right where I'm living right now. And I'm like, oh, like, is he inviting me out? And so then I was like, oh, is this your subtle way of like inviting me to the beach with you? And he was like, yes. I just popped a pimple, I'm like drying up the blood. But also I'm like feeling insecure today. Like today's just not a day where I'm like feeling super, super like good about myself in general. And a lot of the time when I was younger, I always used to wait until I feel good about myself before I went and saw people. But even though I'm feeling insecure right now, I'm like still gonna go see him because I know it's all in my head. Like I look the exact same as like the last time he saw me. So if you are letting your insecurities stop you from meeting new people, going to see your friends, going and doing fun things, Things, don't let it force yourself to go and do it anyways and your life will be better I promise you but with my first year coming to an end it is really sad because I had a really good experience but I'm also kind of excited because at the end of the day it's just school even though I'm in university now and I know what program I'm in and I know what I want to do kind of in that sense that doesn't really mean I know what I want to do with my life and that's okay like I'm 18 don't ever feel like you're so stuck in what you're doing and you're trying because you can do whatever you want. If you wanted to, you could pick up and move. Sure, there are some logistics, whatever, but like you could. And I think remembering that gives me like a sense of freedom. At the end of the day, if you don't know what you wanna do with your life or you don't know if what you're doing right now is what you wanna do forever, you don't have to. You can only plan so far ahead. And so I think it's important to have goals for what you want for yourself. But at the end of the day, literally no one knows what they're doing. I promise you. And if they say they do, they don't.